What's up guys? We are going to be running through a full workout. So on the schedule today we have bench and then we're also gonna be running the comic book arms program that you guys have available to you. So during this workout, I'm gonna show you guys what you should be doing, how you should be doing it, and what to expect when you're doing it. So I'm gonna be doing my three sets of bench and then following that with the comic book arm routine. So let's go inside the gym and get to work. Okay, so before we start the workout, obviously got to warm up the shoulders. People always ask me, what do I do to warm up? Obviously, I'm going to be uploading videos that I do in order to get ready for a squat bench and deadlift. But for bench in particular, uh, for me personally, I just need to get my shoulders kind of loosened up, uh, loosened up and warmed up. Um, just because whenever I bench, that seems to be the, the thing that bothers me the most. Um, so I'll look, typically just do these little shoulder rotations. So what you do is grab a resistance band, stretch it out, apply pressure, and just slowly go over the head all the way to the back and that full range of motion on the back keep repeating that. Um, I usually do about three to, three sets of 12. And that usually gets my shoulders pretty warmed up. And then after that, I might do some uh, tricep work. Uh, I'll run through it just so you guys can see. But I'll do some tricep work, maybe something for chest, and uh, get some blood in there so I'm not going into bench completely cold. A lot of times what people do is they go into bench cold. Like they just kind of come inside the gym and just start working out. You might injure yourself doing that, so you want to make sure that your muscles are primed to start lifting. Okay guys, now we're moving on to warming up our tricep. Now you can honestly do whatever you want to warm up your tricep. Me personally, I like to do some isolated work, and when isolated work, what I mean is that you only do one side at a time. So I like to take whatever attachment is on the cable, leave it completely like this, and literally just extend my tricep. It's a little bit too high for me. I'm a little bit on the shorter end of the spectrum. So what I like to do here, it's literally just very simple. Extend my tricep. We do uh, single arm tricep extensions. Keep it very light, very slow. And literally all we're trying to do here is just activate and warm up that tricep, get some blood flowing in there. So whenever we start benching, it doesn't feel uncomfortable and it takes its time to warm up. Um, another tidbit here is that you want to spend about 10 to 15 wa minutes warming up. Depends on your overall fitness as well. Um, but for someone like myself, it takes a little bit longer to, uh, to get the bones going and the blood flowing. So we're gonna do about 15 to 20 reps here. And that should get the trick done. Get some blood in there, I already feel it going. Get warmed up. The, the, the best way to know that you're warmed up is if you start breaking a little sweat. You know when you start getting a little bit hot and you're like, okay, I'm about to start sweating. That's when you know you're warmed up and ready to start lifting. So once again, take your time, be purposeful, and make sure that you're properly warmed up. Don't rush through it. I know there's gonna be some people that uh, maybe you're a little bit pressed for time, but if you can help it, try your best. Just take your time through it and get properly warmed up. Okay, so we're about to start benching like I mentioned earlier. Warming up on bench is different for everybody. Me, personally, I like to do one red, which is 55 uh, pounds, two reds, and then um, add the green, and then figure out what my working set's gonna be. Um, everyone has different strength levels, so uh, your warm up might be looking a little bit different. Um, so I wouldn't like look at my bench and be like, I need to warm up like that. Everyone has a different routine. You just gotta make sure that you're primed and ready to uh, start your working sets. And whenever, when you got to, um, you want to get to that point is how you want to do it. But I will say, you want to minimize the amount of reps and work that you do in order to get ready for that top set. Because um, at a certain point, you're just wasting time. Like I'm not gonna sit here with 308 pounds and do four reps knowing that I'm gonna go up to 331 and do five reps. Because you're just gonna gas yourself out. So be uh, strategic and methodical with uh, the warm up selection that you have. Okay, so we're typically, we're, we're we three, uh, two warm-up sets in. I'm already like kind of sweating and I already have a pump. I don't know if you guys can see. So um, that's how you want it to be. You don't want to be warming up and you still feel cold. 
Um, by the time you get to this point, you should be already damn near sweating. Um, so we have one more, one more upset, and then I'm gonna see if we can get into the working set. Um, so a lot of you guys that are on program, I feel like I feel like the third training session should be the one where it's um, bench, and then you have like some back off work in terms of bodybuilding. So you can kind of formulate what to do and how to do it by watching this video here. So um, let's go ahead and, and figure out what we got for the day. I typically like to work up to 308 pounds and see what's going to be the working set for the workout. All right, so we're going to move up to 331. Um, I did 308 and sometimes you have to like figure out where you are for the day. Um, I came into today's session, went to 352 for sets of five. But the way my program was structured, probably smart to do 331 um, and just take what we have for the day. Okay, so for my people that work out at commercial gyms, what you can do if you have this available to you is put some bands on the bench. Um, my bench actually has good grip. The conventions here at Strip have good grip. It's just that I'm wearing a tank, and what's happening is that I'm starting to sweat, so I'm just gonna be naturally slipping and sliding. Uh, but if you do have resistant bands, um, put them on the bench like so. Pull them down, and it'll help you get a lot more grip. So, it's gonna create some traction and keep it from slipping and sliding, and it'll be uh, beneficial to me whenever I'm benching, because I'll be able to stay in position and uh, get the most out of my position when it comes to bench press. Okay, so we're one set in. Um, and people always ask me, how long do you wait in between rest, uh, in between sets? So, um, for me, rule of thumb, at least for the powerlifting portion of the workout, I like to wait, honestly, until I'm ready for my next set. That's the beauty about powerlifting. You wanna make sure that you're ready to go for every single set. You don't wanna start a set and you're like, damn, I still haven't recovered from the last set. Um, so everyone's different. Some people can wait two minutes in between sets and be ready to go. Um, some people can wait 10 minutes, you know? I've seen, we've been in here working out and there's powerlifters that literally wait 20 minutes in between sets because they feel comfortable going with their next set. I personally can't do that. I like to maintain my sweat and my pump while I'm working out. Um, but I typically, on average, wait anywhere from like three minutes to seven minutes. And I judge that by the music I'm listening to. If I count two songs go by, I'm like, okay, I think I'm ready to go. Um, so we're jumping to the second set. First set was pretty solid. And uh, we have another set after this, and then we'll move on to the bodybuilding portion of the workout. So right now I'm looking through my arm workout, um, the comic book arm workout. I'm gonna have to amend one thing just because it doesn't coincide with the program that I'm currently running. Um, so let's jump straight into it. I'm gonna talk to you guys through, the, through this thing and show you guys how it's supposed to be done. So the main thing that's gonna be different from the palpitation portion of this workout is the fact that we're going to not be resting a long time in between sets. Um, the point of bodybuilding is to fill the muscle up with blood, um, get that pump. So when you wait too long, you cool down, your muscles deflate. So you just want to make sure that you're currently, uh, you're constantly attacking um, the workout, and you're not giving yourself a time to catch up and just kind of like decompress. So let's get straight to it. The first thing that we have is going to be, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I wrote this statement, but we have cable curls. Um, so this is going to be pre-exhaustion work. 
And what previous awesome work is like just making sure that you're tiring out the muscle before you actually work it out. So we're gonna do um, <laughs> one set of failure on cable curls and then one set of failure on uh, tricep extension. So failure is just quote unquote going 20 plus reps and maintaining good form throughout the movement. Okay, so obviously not gonna choose weight that's like super duper heavy. So we wanna make sure we're able to get upwards to 20 plus reps. So let's uh, get to work. Slash right there. See that? Sheesh. So now we're moving straight. Y'all, did you see that? It hit my face. Okay. Now we're moving straight into the tricep extensions. Um, you want the bodybuilding portion to be fast paced. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into that. Same concept, 20 plus reps, good form. Go a little bit heavier to my triceps are stronger. Okay. Nice and tight. You guys want a good pump. We're not even like, we're not even into the workout. This is like technically the warm up stuff. God. We're moving fast. We only, I probably have like a minute and a half between doing the tricep extension and moving on to um, the easy bar preacher curls. So I had to skip once again the close grip bench because that's not on my program and I don't want to mess up Friday's bench session. So we have a four by 10. I'm already kind of like out of breath, but once again, like I said, before we started the workout, you want to make sure that you're constantly attacking the, the uh, session. You're not giving your body a chance to rest. So, uh, so let's get right here. So when you're doing these, you want to make sure you stretch out all the way and squeeze at the top. So that's one round. One, two, three and to the four. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the door. Ready to make an entrance, so back on up. Cause you know we're about to rip shit up. Give me the microphone first so I can bust like a bubble. Compton and Long Beach together, now you know you in trouble. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Too low depth, make us so we're crazy. Death Row is the label that pays, man. Unfatable, so please don't try to fake this. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. Perfection is perfection. I know only kind of look at the clock on my phone. I try to figure out where, uh, what time I finished my rep or my set so I can time it out and then move on to the next set. So typically two to three minutes is my happy spot where I'm not too tired and I'm also not too cold. So um, I think we're about a minute in and then at 2.50 I'll do my next set. Okay, 2.50, kind of came fast. Like this, Anna. It's like that, and like this, and like that, Anna. It's like this, and like that, and like this, Anna. Drake creep to the mic like a fan. Well, I'm peeping, and I'm creeping, and I'm creeping. But I damn near got caught, cause my people kept beeping. Now it's time for me to make my impression felt. So sit back, relax, and strap on your seat. Yo, you've never been on a ride like this before. With a producer who can rap and control the maestro At the same time with the dope rhyme that I kick You know and I know I feel some old funky shit Look at that Look at that, we're not even like halfway done with the workout I'm stalling <laughs> Okay, third set Also, is this the uh, Russell World playlist or the GBT playlist? I'll be, I'll be uh, uploading that onto the uh, app as well So you guys can uh, be on the good tunes <clears throat> I 
can't even like properly extend anymore, man. Like that's another thing too. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, the weight has gotten, gotten too heavy for me to properly execute the way I want to execute. Um, and that's another portion of the workout that this is kind of awkward, but like I'm kind of happy it happened. This is too much. I'm not doing proper form. I notice, okay, I'm not squeezing all the way at the top. I'm not getting a full extension. So what I'm gonna do is drop it down to probably 50 pounds where I can execute properly. Um, don't ego lift. If you ego lift, you're not gonna get the lift in that you probably need. So make sure you're dropping the weight. Going at your own pace. 50 pounds. I should be able to fully extend and squeeze at the top. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's much better. So I don't know if you guys want to go back and rewind and look at like that last set. This wasn't clean. Um, I was doing the reps, but it's almost like cheat reps. Not fully extending, not fully getting up to the top and getting that contraction. So uh, once again, lighten the load and do it properly. Last set. Now we're moving on to French curls, AKA dumbbell overhead extension. Um, so we do not have a seated, uh, we don't have like a, a bench that allows you to just kind of sit there and get that full extension, right? So what I'm doing here is just sitting on the lat pull down and uh, I'm just gonna try to execute the overhead extension on this thing right here. So on the workout, we have pyramid set. So what that means is that you're gonna start off with a weight. Um, first set's supposed to be 15 reps. So lighter weight, and then as we go on to the next set, we're gonna increase the weight. So I currently have 65 pounds. I'll probably increase it to either 70 or 75, and then keep increasing the weight um, all the way to the final set. So let's get the first set out of the way. 15 reps, let's go. There we go. So 65 for the first set. Um, now we have another set at 12. So moved it up to 70 just because my triceps are already kind of like burnt. So uh, we're gonna have very incremental or very small increments going up. So it's gonna be five pound increments for the rest of the, uh, the pyramid set. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I didn't know this workout was so intense. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the pump is, is it's already here. I, mean, just, I can stop the workout right now. I was making a joke, but like, how did I do these type of workouts? I used to work like this all the time. Um, but now I have to pick and choose when I do these type of workouts because obviously powerlifting and coins, like it might mess up my, uh, my lift for the day. But we're making good time. I'm waiting anywhere from two to three minutes in between sets. Um, the pump is, is intense and we're maintaining that intensity throughout the workout. So enough talking. Um, now we have a set of 10. Then after that, we have a set of eight and that's gonna complete it for this pyramid set. One, two, three and to the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the door. Ready to make an entrance, so back on up. Cause you know we're about to rip shit up. Give me the microphone first so I can bust like a bubble. Compton and Long Beach together, now you know you in trouble. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Okay, so now we're moving straight into the straight bar 21s. Um, so 21s is a variation of the 28s. Um, <laughs> the 28s is a little bit intense. 
But so the 21 is basically um, seven normal reps, seven half reps at the bottom, and seven half reps at the top. So I'll show you guys exactly what that looks like. But um, due to the fact that we're like towards the end of the workout, the way it's gonna get lighter and lighter. Um, there's no need to be trying to do way that you're normally doing your fresh. So you just have to be able to realize that, okay, my muscles are a little bit more fatigued, so I just need to take my time, choose a way that I know I can do, and execute to perfection. So what I like to do my 21s is half rep at the bottom, half rep at the top, and then seven full reps. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, seven other ones. Double O P D O double G Y D O double G you see Showing much flex when it's time to wreck a mic Pimping hoes and clocking a grip like my name was Dolomite Yeah, and it don't quit I think they in the mood for some motherfucking G shit yeah. So Dre, what up dog? Gotta get them what they want What's that G? We gotta break them off something Hell yeah And it's gotta be bumping City of Compton it's where it takes place so we're not show attention Mobbing like a motherfucker but I ain't lynching Dropping the funky shit that's making a sucker niggas mumble When I'm on the mic it's like a cookie they all crumble Try to get close say your ass I get smacked My motherfucking homie doggy dog has got my back Never let me slip cause if I slip then I'm slipping But if I got my Nina then you know I'm straight tripping And I'ma continue to put the rap down put the Mac down And if your bitches talk shit I have to put the smack down Yeah and you don't stop I told you I'm just like a clock when I Okay so we successfully survived um, the 21s Now we're moving on to uh, dumbbell tape presses You want to keep the weight really really light on this um it's kind of a unfamiliar position for your triceps so you don't want to like try to overload it and do it like with 35s or anything like that like um as strong as my triceps are i'm only using 15 pounds and um i'm gonna be doing i think uh let me look at the program again but i think it's 10 to 12 reps so let me okay so we have um 12 reps cool number one you're gonna be balancing almost um so it's unilateral it means uh you're only doing one side at a time. So right here, <clears throat> and I like to kind of put this, my off hand over, the, over my uh, body to kind of help with balancing. So stay tight. Boom. It's your one and your wheezy, man, this shit too easy. Different bitch for every season, showing me they cleavage. I take drugs and feel relaxed, it's like they therapeutic. She take that pussy on call back, so she won't think I need it. Made it out of jungle. My ball ain't got now no the other side. Rest in peace, my mom. Right after the finish. Like the side before. Remember that pussy from way back, playing I pay on the popper. Standing up with the killers at, made my pillow chopper. This ain't that what you looking at, and we didn't update the roster. You can tell it's a rich nigga posture. Y'all gon' wanna spit in it proper. Trapping at school, I was serving bags. Probably was such a my locker. Who did your jury? It look like brass. One of your brush had a stop you. It's your one and your wheezy, man. This shit too easy. Different bitch for every season, showing me they cleavage. I take drugs and feel relaxed, it's like they therapeutic. She take that piss on call back, so she won't think I need it. I stick deep, deep, deep inside her throat where it ain't no more breathing. If I don't post and I go ghost, it's gon' be for a reason. Just got my reading, now my reasons. I'm booked out the region. This jury call on me, I'm freezing. No way I'm anemic. Put on, put on to the photo, man. This shit too easy. Y'all gon' chop a brick like Judo, snatch a Lamborghini. I got a different bitch for different places, different seats. 
Jesus Bitch ain't playing the position, cutting her off, this shit too easy I started all dog smash R&B stars right at a band up I don't have a hoes on the west side, thinking I abandoned her I don't have a pippin' in my blood and I can change climate I threw the money on until the price up like I designed it Can't put a presidential on a bitch, let you get a nigga Minaj That little IG bitch ain't shit for the end of the car Put round in the side piece, pop out that night and double lock Start talking Chinese with my these sticks in the car Bitch, I'm one of that young Weezy, man, this shit too easy Different bitch for every season, showing me they cleavage I take drugs and feel relaxed, it's like that therapeutic She take that piss, I don't call back, so she won't think I need it I stick deep, deep inside her throat, it, it ain't no more breathing If I don't post and I go ghost, it's gon' be for a reason Just got my reading, and my reasons, I'm booked out the region This jury calling me, I'm freezing, no way I'm a need it Bitch, I'm one of that young Weezy, man, this shit too easy Different bitch for every season, showing me they cleavage I take drugs and feel relaxed, it's like they therapeutic She take that piss, I don't call back, so she won't think I need it Made it out of jungle, my ball ain't got no jumper Rest in peace, my uncle, never met, but I still love you Remember that pussy from way back, playing I pay on the popper Stayed in the hood where the killers at, made my pillow chop This ain't that what you looking at, and we didn't know that the roster You can tell it's a rich nigga posture, y'all gon' want on spitting it proper Trapping at school, I was serving bands, probably was such a my locker Who did the jury, it look like brands? So we're gonna jump into hammer curls, we have 4 by 12 um, So I'm gonna go ahead and go with the 40s, and um, bang these out So with the hammer curls, I like to typically kind of bring them right here and do them pretty slow. Mm. I'm like, I lost count, so I think that's the dust hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good sets right here. It's gonna turn into a man or a woman or y'all get the point. <laughs> Okay, so now we reached the end of the workout. It took some time to get here, but we're here. Um, so what we're going to be doing is going to be the finisher uh, movements. So we have rope, tricep extensions, and then rope hammer curls. Uh, so it says two times of failure, uh, two sets of failure. And what that basically means, which I kind of already said at the beginning of the video, failure means whenever you get that breakdown of form. So technically you still could keep going, but you're not gonna be executing the reps the way that they need to be executed at. So proper form is Full extension right here now if i get so pumped where i'm like going like this to me that's failure right so stop right there and then wait and then do the next set so we have once again two sets of failure rope tricep extensions um i'm gonna put a happy medium probably like around i want to say 80 pounds i could definitely do a lot more but triceps are already fry i'm fatigued so i want to pick weight that i know i can do and do it effectively so first set let's go I'm getting close to failure now. As you can see, I'm starting to swing to get more motion out of there, which I shouldn't be doing. So that would be categorized as failure, but I can still squeak out some more reps. Uh. 
So now we're moving on to the row of hammer curls. Um, my biceps do not have the type of endurance that my triceps have. So I already know like, I'm not gonna be able to knock out that many reps. Um, so gonna have to lighten the weight a little bit. And once again, focus on form, but I just know my biceps, probably like eight, 12, 10. I mean eight, it's like 15 reps, I'm gonna be gassed out. Okay guys, this is when you show your warrior mentality. Big finish for last set. Leave it all in the uh, gym. Just go for it. Okay, that's gonna do it for today's workout. If you guys wanna find workouts just like this, just like this, I wanna direct you guys over to my app. Um, you can find the link in my description box or you can go to the, not the, but russwellapp.com, sign up the first month is free, and then after that it's $14.99 going forward. So, like always, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Keep it today, I'm out. One, two, Bring it to the folks, Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the door, ready to make an entrance, so back on up.